A warm greetings to your first lesson in System Weblog. System Weblog stands for a design and verification language for both ASIC and FPGA in the real asset domain. In the recent technology, it is a it is playing a vital role. In this lesson, we are going to see about data types in System Weblog language. So sometimes they call the system verilog language as SV in short form. So that means system verilog. In any other language, if you take C, C, Java, Python, if you take any programming language, whatever the familiar language you are. All those languages contain the basic element is data types. So what are the data types you know? You might have known the data types like numbers, names, something like that. So in system wave log also there are some basic data types. So data types. So if you say the data types in system log, there are three basic basic data types. First one is a bit, and second one is logic, and third one is register. So these two are exactly equal. If the, they both are equal, why different names? Register is derived, is existing in Verilog, which is the preceder of system Verilog, from where it is modified and derived. So both are same. So bit means it will store or it will have zeros, ones, that is binary, zero and one. If you take logic or register, it can have zeros and ones and extra x and z. X stands for unknown and z stands for high impedance. So these are the basic three data types which are by default plus. These are positive by default we will say as unsigned no need of put any sign before these numbers that means positive unsigned so by using these basic data types we can derive a big big classes for example the first one is a bit which is unsigned means positive which can store 0 and 1 either 0 or 1 it is a single digit now by using the same you can derive byte byte what is byte means it is having 8 bits so like the same bit if you say this is a bit this is a bit what if I want 8 consecutive bits, for example, something like this, 4, 4. So this one is called byte, that means 8 bits at a time. So byte is signed means it can be negative or it can be positive. I hope you remember only three names are unsigned by default. One is a bit, logic, rich. Remaining all are signed by default. For example, bit A equals to 1. Bit B 
equals to 0. So in A I am storing 1, in B I am storing 0. What happens if I say bit C? What is the value it is going to have here in C? Can you tell? Either it is 0 or 1. Yes, you are correct. It is 0. By default, no need to say equal to 0, but you can just say, just declare it. That means B is having 0. And semicolon is must at the end of each statement. Now we will see the difference between byte and bit. What is the difference? Bit is single digit, byte is 8 digits and bit is unsigned, it is always positive. Byte is signed, it can be negative sometimes. It can negative sometimes. So for example, if I say byte a equals to byte a equals to some 8 digit hexadecimal number 3. In hexadecimal format, there is a quotation mark 8, quotation mark, single quote H3. That means we are storing number 3 in hexadecimal of 8 bits into 8. Or you can directly store 3. It will take decimal 3 into A. Here A, if you if you see A, it will have so 3 means 0, 1, 1. All the remaining will be 0. Why all will be 0? Why all will be 0? Because by default bit bit will store zeros. We discussed that earlier. So instead of this one, you can write negative 3 also, minus 3. That means all these things will be stored, it will be stored in a 2's complement form. That means it is going to have complement and plus 1. So it is going to be this form. It is a 2's complement form. So, but what if I want to store only positive values? In that situation, you can modify this byte as bit 7 down to 0, that means 8 digits, a equals to 3. Then it will always store positive numbers. Why? Because we are using here bit. Bit means always positive. Next we will see about logic. Logic. What is the values it is going to store? So we know that logic means either 0, either 1, either x or either z. So if I say logic a equal to 1, logic b equal to x semicolon what if, if I say logic C, what is the default value it is going to have? Is it 0, is it 1, is it x or is it z? It is x, unknown. So like how bit is unsigned, this is also unsigned. That means it's always going to have positive. If I say logic 31 down to 0, a equals to 33. That means there will be 31 bits. 31 bits like this 
and 33 is going to flow and let us uh, bind this format binary equivalent will be 10001 so accordingly it will store remaining all zeros so that is going to that is how it is going to store so now we will see all the data types at once bit logic or edge bit means zeros and one by default zero logic means zero one x j by default x and eight bit you can write as byte sixteen bit you can write as short int thirty two bit you can write as i n t 64 bit you can write as long int. Let's say for example we want to store 32 bits. We no need to write this much long here. You can write int a. So instead of bit 31 down to 0, you can write int simply. These are all for bit. If you take logic, there is only 32 bit that is called integer. So carefully observe the difference between int and integer. Int will store only zeros and ones, whereas integer can store extra x and z. So this is the basic data types. So I hope you guys um, understood the basic. So, see you in the next lesson where we are going to see about enumerations, user-defined data types.